Hi friends, uh, this is Jaron. Um, I didn't expect to be speaking with you again so soon. Um, I was in the process of working on uh, part two, which I believe will be out next week. It's going to cover a few things that we talked about in this Two Witnesses movie here. Uh, but there is something that I must share with you now, today. Um, some of you who watched the movie noticed that um, as I was going through the presentation, around 40 minutes in, I, I spoke in a language that was not English, obviously. And uh, many of you asked, what was the word? What was spoken? And um, um, I commented and just let you let some of you know that it was uh, something that was unintentional. Um, uh, you could call it tongues. You could call it a different language. And, you know, when I was going through this presentation, when I was uh, just going over the meaning of olive trees, the the meaning of the lamp stands and these things regarding the two witnesses. I was so it just just right right there with you. I was so excited. And so going through this, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you, you can't hold back excitement. Right. And, you know, this just came out. This language came out. And during the editing process, I was thinking to myself, should I edit this out? Should I edit out these words that were spoken? Because, you know, the Apostle Paul does say that you should that no one should really be speaking in tongues unless there's an interpreter present. Right. No one. There has to be an interpreter present so that there's edification in the church and so that everyone can understand what is being said. Um, so I was thinking maybe I should just edit that part out because there was no interpreter present. But, you know, I, I felt I felt like God was saying, no, 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 just just be re be yourself. All right. Be real. Whatever comes out, just let it be. You never know what's going to happen. And so when I released the video, mean if you responded and said, what was that? Was what was that said? Did you speak in tongues? What was that? I didn't really comment on what it meant because I didn't. I don't know what it means. I've never in my life interpreted someone speaking in tongues. Um, And I was hoping that maybe in the comments someone could in interpret it, you know. And someone did comment. Someone commented and said that. They wondered what it meant, but when they put on the the captions, the YouTube captions, there was a there was a translation that was read. And when I did that myself, I saw something that blew me away. It I think will shock you too, and I think it will edify us, and I'm just gonna let you see here. So here's the video. Okay. Um I'm gonna turn on the captions. And let's see what this picks up as these words are, are spoken. This is why Zechariah said, These two olive trees, these are the two who are anointed to serve the Lord of all the earth. Not just Jews, not just Gentiles, but Jews and Gentiles grafted into one olive tree, but both still separate. Serving God. And this is why Paul said, Oh man, okay. All right. Honestly, when I first saw that, I didn't, it didn't really hit me at first, okay? It didn't really hit me at first. And then I looked up the word Euticus. Euticus. I first did a Google search and then. Apparently that that is the name of of someone in the Bible. So let's look up the word Eutychus. I already typed it in here. And look at it. This is what Eutychus. This is who Eutychus is. So all right. So Paul was preaching the, the gospel. He was preaching to people. Okay. And when he was preaching, he was giving a long talk. It was a long message. And seated in the window was a young man named Eutychus who was seeking, sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. And when he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Um, this is interesting because Paul was talking, giving a long message. Eutychus was a man who was there and I, he just, I guess the message was too long and he fell asleep. He fell asleep and he fell out the window and everyone said thought he was dead. Now, after they thought he was dead, turns out 
either he wasn't really dead or he came back to life. So um, he was picked. He, they thought he was dead. And so Paul went down to check on him and he threw himself on the young man, put his arms around him and said, don't be alarmed. He's still alive. And then he went up again and broke bread and ate. And after talking until daylight, he left. And the people, they took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. Let's go back to this. Eutychus Academia. First of all, the words that were spoken, tongues, whatever you want to call it, the words that were spoken sounded nothing like this. And it certainly didn't sound anything like academical. Let's look at this. of the Lord of all the earth, not just Jews, not just Gentiles, but Jews and Gentiles grafted into one olive tree, but both still separate serving God. I don't know how it picked this up because right here you have an academic lesson and you have a man who was listening to an academic message by Paul. The man fell asleep. He got tired. I believe the spirit of the Lord is saying. If there was someone out there who is weary, sleepy, don't be like a Eutychus. Don't fall asleep. But listen to this academic message. Um. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This message here um, is extremely important. Um, I don't want to really give anything away because I, I just don't want to spoil it. But, you know, when you watch it, you're going to get, you know, maybe you'll be like Eutychus. Maybe you'll be starting to fall asleep. <laughs> but if you watch it until the end, take notes and pray through it. Don't be afraid. Pray through it. Ask God to reveal the truth to you. I believe you will be filled with so much joy because something big, something groundbreaking is coming to the body of Christ. The world has for a long time asked for evidence. Atheists, agnostics, all kinds of groups have said, we want to see evidence of your Jesus. We will believe in him. Yeah, we'll believe in him once you give us signs and show us. The world will get signs. The world shall get evidence when the two witnesses are given power. I pray that this edified you. We have the interpretation. Do not fall asleep like Eutychus did and enjoy the academic message. And I will say another thing about Eutychus here. So number one, uh, yes, he was a man who was starting to fall asleep as Paul was talking on and on. And um, he fell out the window because he just he fell asleep during the message. But also, Paul displayed his power, I believe. Many thought he was dead. But when Paul touched him and Paul checked on him, this man was not dead. Either he I, I, it's likely I would say that Paul, that he, the man was resurrected. Paul operating in the, you know, the power of God allowed the, the man to rise up again. And I think that is also a demonstration of how. We, through this message of the two witnesses, will see how things like this will be happening all the time. The power of God will be so present. The world will no longer have debates on if Jesus is king. It will just be obvious. God bless you. I pray that you will stay tuned for the part two of the two witnesses video coming next week. We're going to be talking about more about the olive trees because many have pointed out a great, a great fact about how the olive trees you know they are two but they are also one right they're also one because really they're all the family of god and if you want to get technical with it you have one olive tree that represents gentiles then you have one olive tree that represents jews um true but technically you could say that the technical name of it would be the house of one, one of them is the house of israel and the other is the house of judah okay those who are in the in christ are grafted into the people of God, into the house of Judah through Christ. And so, you know, that's still one all three, but they're still separate houses. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about that and flesh that out. Um, and I think you will be blessed by that presentation as well. Uh, wow, this is, this isn't, 
This is incredible. I, I, I shouted when I saw this because I've never experienced anything like this. I've never had any type of interpretation. And I do think that there is a reason why this was interpreted in this way, because I guess if you have sometimes a human interpretation, you know, you have to wonder, is that human being honest or not? But everyone can sit here and watch the video and play back and put on the caption and see that what came out sounded like nothing what was translated and what was translated by some coincidence, right? is the guy in the Bible who was falling asleep during a long message <laughs> and a long academic message. So anyways, I'm just going to say, God bless you. Um, don't fall asleep as you listen to the two witnesses movie. Uh, if you have not seen it yet and uh, just take up, be prayerful about it. Don't be afraid to learn anything new. You know, just ask the Holy spirit to reveal the truth to you. Take notes, open your Bible and read along for yourself. Um, and I think you will be greatly blessed in the name of Jesus. Bless you.